This is the lock picking lawyer, and what I have for you oh, today cool. is. Oh, cool! Look at this. Look at these keys. Handcuffs, neat. We haven't done a video like this for a while. What are we working on? Weren't you listening? I said this is the lock picking lawyer. What do you think we're doing? Guys, we have a special guest with us today, the lock picking lawyer. Hello there. <laughs> we're gonna be taking a look at some movie and TV clips that show lock picking. And then we're gonna put a few of them to the test and see how real they really are. This is the first one, it's from Midnight Run. Robert De Niro's about to do some lock picking, so let's see how well he does. This is actually something that's pretty easy to improvise out of something simple like a coat hanger. You guys wanna try that one out? Let's yes. do it, that seems like it should be okay. a fun project. I've never actually made them before, so that's a first for me as well, but I do know people who have and they can work. While you guys were getting our lunch, I decided to raid the coat closet and toolbox, and I actually built my very first snap gun. And cool. it turns out it works reasonably well. Nice. So I think the next step is for you guys to build your own. Fair so idea. grab a hanger and start straightening it out. Okay, you guys have been working pretty hard. How'd you do? Anything close to this? Nate, what do you got? Fairly similar. Wow, I think bit yours different looks sizing. better than mine. You suggested that we make it longer. Instead, I went the other way and made it slightly shorter. Uh, it's about, about, about the, the same. same. I, right. think, uh, I think this stands a reasonable chance of working. It's a little bit short right here, but we can probably bend that back. But I think this stands a chance. Thanks. Grace? Okay, well, beautiful. I, I made abstract to, art. I told you to make it a little bit longer than mine, <laughs> and you did. I took that to heart. I said the blade had to be straight, and you did. I said you needed two wraps at the back, and you did that. <laughs> That's how the snap action works. There is no power. There is some. Okay, um, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> this, is, this is art right here. That is going to work as in wall hanging. <laughs> okay, let's give them a try, okay? Are you kidding me? First that worked try. great. <laughs> Mic drop. This is the pick that I made. See if I can get it to do anything. Set the false set. Just knock it out entirely. There's two things we're testing here. One is the tool that was constructed. The other is the skill of the user. I can tell by looking at the color of your thumb you're pressing too hard. Oh. Yep. <laughs> what? Can well, we then, leave that audio that's, in? That is yeah. a Perfect example what? of the skill of the user. Wait, did I actually do it? Or well, did I you didn't. do it? Wait, did you? I, I didn't touch it. I did it! <laughs> well, the rake attack worked eventually. Okay, this is from Breaking Bad. I've received a ton of comments and emails asking me if this is realistic. So this is something I've definitely watched before. Here they're going up to a warehouse door and just putting a satchel of thermite on it. A little pack of like it, and then with a propane torch, they take about oh, okay. two seconds. I like how quickly it lights. That's lights the completely thermite. completely unrealistic lighting the thermite. Well, we like to do stuff with thermite here, and I do think it'd be fun to try and make the best case scenario with this and see if we can get anything similar to this result. I have some doubts, but I think it would be a fun thing to try anyway. If you're asking me if I want to light a fire, the answer is definitely yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Perfect. This is our simulation of the Breaking Bad setup. We don't have the exact kind of lock that they use, mostly because I think their prop department built that specifically to hold a bag of thermite, or what looked like a bag of thermite. So this is our approach. We've got some steel cladding on a door. We've got it tilted at an angle, mostly laying flat, because I think that's going to give it the best chance 
of the thermite staying in place and really hitting that lock as much as possible. Here we go, two seconds on this packet of thermite. One, two. Hey, we lit some of the plastic. That's good. We exposed some of the thermite even. That's fun. So we did get through a single layer of duct tape and a Ziploc bag. It's what pretty thing? clear that's not gonna work. And I don't wanna put the torch on it for too long because then we preheat the thermite. And Which that is can, a no-go, yep, no that bueno. That can cause some issues. <laughs> so. so instead of that, we're going to take a sparkler and we're gonna light the sparkler and then back up. It did way more than I thought it would to that sheet of steel. But the question is, would the door open? Have we done anything to the bolt? Nope. Seems pretty solid to me. It's still huh. going. We might have ignited the steel sheet. Ooh, we Ow. have done something to the lock on the front of it. We've separated it from the door. The bolt is still in place holding the door shut though. Exactly, the only thing that matters right now is the bolt. If the bolt's still there, the door is closed. The bolt is still there and it's still very sturdy. I think we can be relatively certain that as shown, that would not have worked as shown. It would shown. not have gotten them through. Okay, Tommy Lee Jones just told him to get out of his own handcuffs. So let's see what he does. He looks around carefully at each person and selects one pair of glasses. Now let me note, there aren't a lot of glasses on which this will work, so it's realistic he would have looked carefully at each he, of the he three didn't, people. He either didn't like Tommy Lee Jones' aviators or he felt it was unwise to grab Tommy Lee Jones' face. <laughs> so so just, he just broke off one of the arms of the glasses. Messing around and with a sudden jerking motion. Okay, so both of them opened at once. Yeah. Oh, they both popped off and fell to the floor. There is another clip earlier in this movie of another character using a piece of glasses to escape from handcuffs that shows a little bit more of what he's doing. Okay, let's check it out. So here we see Wesley Snipes' character who we earlier watched steal this arm of glasses and he hid it in his cast. I would say the concept of what they're doing is realistic. The execution is, could Boring. be a lot better. Gotcha. Yeah. So do you guys want to learn how to do that? I want to break some glasses. I brought some handcuffs along. We brought some glasses. Hopefully yes. we can get one of them to work. Let's, if not, let's learn we've how to got do that. a key. Always important. Okay, so let's start by showing you the theory. And I'm going to show you that using a bobby pin. What we do need to do is pull this little rubber off and we can use the handcuffs as a tool for that. And well, I need to be handcuffed now. Sounds reasonable. So. Bite yourself again. Yeah. What I'm going to do is take this and use the keyhole mm -hmm. as the tool to bend it. So we have something that looks like that. There you go, that didn't take is. long at all. <laughs> now notice these are not double locked, but of course they were not double they locked in, in the movie, movie they either. Weren't either. So, and now we were talking earlier about them being double locked. It's nearly impossible to get out of them if they are double locked, correct? I won't say impossible, but it's significantly harder and you need a lot more skill. Let's see what we can do with these glasses. Well, it's not coming off as easily for me as it did for him. How's that going? Oh, not you great. do have a nice little hook already though. That's true, but I think you're right. I don't think this, yeah. Look this has my... to fit in that keyway. I can't even begin to get that into there. So these aren't gonna work. There we go. Hey, it worked. You. That was not as easy as I thought it would be. Mostly the problem was making the tool, but once I got it made, it seemed to work all right. Yeah. So it definitely that is possible. That metal doesn't bend as easy as you want it to. Oh yeah, bobby pin I think is just at this sort of Goldilocks zone where you can bend it not without too much difficulty with your thumb, and then it has enough rigidity that you're able to push hard enough to open the lock. 
and you know a pair of sun or a pair of glasses is not going to be the same bendability as a bobby pin most of the time. All right, so I have this pair of glasses. And you're on an airplane. It looks like just about anywhere along this arm might work okay for it, but I'm gonna try for the same area you guys work. It's a natural stress point, so it'll probably bend there a little easier. Gotcha. There it Look is. Look at that. Hey. Great job. Ha. There it is. Woo. Woo. So not both at once, but it definitely worked with the right kind of glasses. It's but, really about finding the right arms, and yeah. these are a lot thinner than 99% of the glasses so I've seen out there. most aren't going to do huh. it for so you. So it's not likely you're gonna find a pair that works, but if you do. Maybe if you're going to be handcuffed and then put in a cement floored prison cell, you could take a day of just scratching it on the ground until you made it flat enough to bend or something like that, but, but there's he was no on an airplane. <laughs> or just in four seconds in front of a bunch of armed officers. Thanks again to Lockpicking Lawyer for joining us today. We've had a great time and hope you have as well. It was an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. Guys, the Lockpicking Lawyer has over a thousand videos on his channel and every single one of them is fantastic. You should go check them out immediately. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Lockpicking can take a while to get right, but luckily the Raycons help pass the time. Personally, I love using these to listen to music, audiobooks, and sometimes make phone calls. The new everyday earbuds have an amazing look and feel. Plus, they come with optimized gel tips to fit in your ear perfectly. In case of an extra challenging lock, Raycons offer eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. They can even take phone calls with the built-in mic. Raycons start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but sound just as good. And luckily, they come with a 45 day happiness guarantee. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash TKOR to unlock exclusive deals up to 20% off your Raycon order. You can tell by the color of your thumb that you're pressing too hard. That's so wild. And I let up and like the next time I press it. Like, we have to leave that, that in. That could not have worked out better. That was amazing. That was so satisfying. Uh,